catch Terrans from multiple angles when they're moving out or right before they get set up or mm-hmm. as they're setting up. He, it's very rare that a Terran player gets into position on Chef and, and puts him in a, in, a, in a really bad situation. Well, uh, here's game four, guys. It looks like the battle has begun. A little bit of chit-chat from the two guys. You guys already know motivation is obvi- obviously Chef. Always with the GM. Have fun, good luck. Exclal, exclal, smiley face. He's the Red Zerg down here. Metalopolis is the map. And uh, why don't you introduce your Terran brother here at the top left? All right, we have Slayer's Ganzi over at the nine o'clock position on Metalopolis, zooming in on his SUVs, hard at work. You know what? Chopping I always... away in the mining fields, <laughs> mining away the lumber. You know what? I always thought SUVs would be cool if they came out of this ramp, just like rolled down the ramp. Just like, yeah. Yeah. They should. That'd be cool if vehicles like drove out like Command and Conquer style. Yeah. How they like build and then like come out. But that might be a little exploitable too. Total annihilation style. You know, in Command and Conquer Three, they actually tried to remake the Zerg sort of. They uh-huh. had like a, a Zerg S race when they added the third race in. Cool. Yeah. Did but nothing Dustin, can be better. Did Dustin out. Browder de- help develop uh, Command and Conquer Three, or was he already on the Blizzard team <sighs> at that point? That's a good question. I think he was on Command and Conquer uh, Westwood, right? Is the company? I think he was on that company for CC Three, and then he left for Blizzard. I think. I could be wrong. Chat will correct us, though, as they always will. As they always do. Hatchery going down for mo- motivation. And, uh, you know what? Sheth going for 14 hatch? No, 15 hatch, it looks like. So, pretty eco build from him. Indeed. Now, Godzi's Indeed. got that interesting play style, Pain User. Do you think he's going to utilize the short air distance to his advantage? Mm. I doubt it. Because he used the Banshees last game. So I highly doubt he's going to use Banshees again this game. Um, and and Sheth's probably going to be all over it this time around. So I don't think it would be a wise decision on his part because Sheth's certainly going to be conscious of the drop play. He's already sending an Overlord into position over there. Um, and Banshees the aren't bases. that effective against Zerg. It's, it's the Zerg's got Queens. It's like a either I'm going to kill a lot of drones and win or I'm going to lose because I opened with an uh, inferior build. Yeah, I mean... It depends. Sometimes, you know, like, if you get two Banshees out, they're really good at sniping one queen in a hatchery, and then you can definitely get five, six drone kills as you pull out of there if another queen is making its way over from, say, the natural or something like that. So right. once you once you get two Banshees, things start to get interesting. But I, I feel opening with, like, a really fast cloak and, and Banshee it is super risky. Mm-hmm. I don't think you outright lose, but more often than not, you see it not do too much damage. And uh, it... it Yes, Colonel. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, guys. My ringtone is going off. And uh, had to pick up my Kodak right there. Respond to Octacon. His name is Octacon, right? Otacon? Otacon. Otacon. That's his name. Metal Gear Solid. Great yep. game. All right. Back to this game. Gonzi is opening up with a starport. One, one, one. Textbook once again. It is at the front oh, door, though. This is going to be a super quick one, actually. This is going to come much faster. And sorry, guys, pardon my voice. And <laughs> if it sounds like I'm I'm a little bit under the weather or my energy level is a little bit down there, it's because I am. I do have a very, very sore throat right now. But that's not going to stop me from casting these games. You're a champion. These are some epic games, though. Chef, I, I, I'm really pulling for Chef. I want him to keep it going, man. He's, he's dropping the Koreans. He's currently uh, just destroying the IPL Fight Club. And here comes that early push from Gonzi. One oh, queen gonna is going to go down right away. He might lose another queen. Chef needs to be careful here. Zergling's just now starting to pop out. Gonzi, I'm surprised, didn't wait for his medevac. He's actually uh, just busy microing his hellions. What are you watching? Good God. Excuse me, guys. I'm adjusting <laughs> myself in my chair. And now he's going to start ferrying those units over. The medevac is almost on its way out, so now he can just have a direct line into the main. And is he going to get a command center behind this? Oh, he's just going to go straight into Banshees again. Hmm. Interesting. Very interesting. And this is pretty aggressive once again. He's utilizing the short rush distance by air. He could definitely ferry right into the main. Uh-oh. Yeah. Chef is Spot. in trouble here. Get he doesn't have Chef any do? units. He has no units. Uh, he has no idea this is coming for him. He's not even building Zerglings. Oh, he just no. queued up six drones. And those drones are going to hit the fire. This could be game. Gonzi is going to destroy the mineral line. Nothing coming out. Chet's larva injects are not there. And a queen will go down as well. 
Gonzi is destroying the mineral line of the main. All the drones running away. Crawler has to relocate itself. Oh, God. Oh, Some no. Zerglings do come out, but they're in a terrible position to approach uh, this fortified position for Terran. He's using the spawning pool and the minerals as sort of a, a pseudo wall. Has a nice little tucked in position there. And if he gets this spawning pool, oh my goodness. Yeah. Uh, Sheth is going to be in a lot of trouble. Tucking away right behind the spawning pool. Great positioning here. Yep. He's just killing so many Zerglings. This this drop in this early game pressure is paying for itself. Oh, he tenfold. didn't get the medevac. The whole time that queen was smacking itself against the whole of the medevac. It went down. The Marines tied And here is the, the Banshee. The Banshee joins the party oh, now that the no. queens are down. I think Gonzi is going to destroy Sheth now. I think Sheth is just very inexperienced with dealing with this build. That's really what it looks like to me. He's so surprised by the early game pressure here, by the quick Banshees. And Gonzi once again looks to scheme his way to another <laughs> victory using the Banshees. And the second Banshee is going to be here any minute now. And once it comes, then... Uh, it, it's curtains for Chef. He's just taking way too much damage right now. Look at the kills on the Banshee. 10, 11, soon to be 12. Queen pops out, though. Will the Queen be able to defend her measly drones? Uh, maybe for the time being. This is such a ragtag force from Gonzi, but he's making it so cost-effective. Yeah, he really that is. That Banshee is still alive. He pulls it away at the last second. The Queen almost going down because of that. It looks like the Banshee did fall, but another Banshee comes in. Gonzi keeping his right foot smashed on that accelerator pedal. Oh, He's and both queens go down. And no the Banshee empire. is just reigning supreme in the mineral line. Sheth has Four got to kills. be frustrated Five by this. Five kills. Just got promoted to being a corporal now. It's going to get a six kill, and that six kill might be a spine crawler, but I think Gonzi realizing, hey, drones are a little bit more of a fresh target. Drones starting to go down. Sheth, so desperate, throws down an emo chamber, and the desperate clinging hope of getting a spore crawler out yeah but look at the supplies 62 to 27 how many workers lost do we have for chef Oof. Oof. 31 to zero that's pretty lopsided that's not good and that's not a Terran that, that's even more lopsided considering that it's a Terran who has those kills yeah and it's much Shef, more difficult for Terran. what heart staying in the game uh, there's really virtually no way for him to win this Unless an absolute miracle happens. Unless he pulls a incredible hat miracle out of his rabbit. Pulls a hat out of his rabbit. I think that'd be a little painful for the rabbit, don't you think? <laughs> Sticks his hand inside the esophagus. Anyways, <laughs> Banshee comes in. Uh, there are two queens here, though, so you will be able to defend. Not the queen, takes out one of, of his queens. But you know the the thing. Uh, he's and just there it GG. is. All right. Booyah.